Hi Taurus, this is going to be a soulmate reading for June 2019, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So, if you'd like to win a private reading with me, information is going to be linked down below. Also, if you would like to win a paid reading, sorry, I just messed that up. If you'd like to win a private reading, um, information is down below. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, in case you don't win a free reading, then information is going to be down below as well. It's all down there. And then if you would like to um, check out my bracelets, which are on Etsy, everything is going to be down there. So yep, everything's just down there if you want to take a peek. So let's get started with the June 2019 summit reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see, Seven of Cups is your first card. We're going to be pulling 12 cards. Got your energy coming through with the High Priestess, which also came out. So we've got Seven of Cups, got High Priestess. It's going to be a very intuitive time for you. Is June. Got the Emperor, the Tower, Queen of Swords. Okay, oh, itchy nose, Queen of Swords, Emperor, and Tower, King of Wands. Page of Pentacles, Chariot, wow, well I can see what's happening here and it seems to me as though someone was very unemotional before, someone was very 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 unemotional as in they just wouldn't share their emotions and their feelings with you and I can see that very clearly here with the Emperor ruled by Aries. Don't get me wrong, they're an action taker, someone that stands in their power and, you know, is able to show themselves as very confident, but they don't necessarily speak emotions. And this is something you wanted a lot of clarity on. This is something that you, with this Queen of Swords energy, whether you're male or female, remember there's no genders in tarot. But with this Queen of Swords energy down here, I'm seeing specifically that you wanted them to be more open, you wanted them to communicate the truth to you, to give you some form of clarity. And it was very difficult, especially with this High Priestess, it was almost as if you, and this is your energy that I'm picking up on, you know, you were trying to be as intuitive as possible so that you could figure out how they feel about you. So you were really trying very, very hard, and especially with the Seven of Cups, it was almost like you were trying to really figure out how into you they are, you know, really through dreams or your intuition or, you know, really trying to picture picture things, you were trying to figure out just how into you they are. Believe it or not, believe it or not, they, you know, they, they just weren't sort of showing you that. Now, what I'm seeing here is that there's movement, especially with this tower card. So the tower is brought in divinely. It's it's something that's guided by the universe, divine timing, essentially. And what happens here is that there's a breakthrough. There's a change. There's, there's this ability to know how they feel. And so, again, you've got fire energy. And again, it's that person you know, that is the Emperor's energy, but this is now someone who is much more, they're still an action taker, they're still a leader, but they're much more communicative in that way. They share their thoughts, they share their feelings, they share what they think, they speak their truth in that matter, and it's it's something that you will you will know, it's something that they will tell you. Especially with this chariot card, chariot is ruled by Cancer. Cancer is a very nurturing energy and this is all about forward movement and progression. So things are going to get moving from this phase down here so that, you know, this essentially occurs. You have this opening with them, they communicate their feelings. And also, they communicate what they want in this situation. I'm seeing, you know, within this soulmate situation, they'll they'll tell you, you know, that they want more, that they want, you know, commitment, that they want to be with you, that they want this sort of opening with you. So there is going to be an opening in terms of emotions that I'm seeing here. 
and you will know for sure how they feel about you because things are going to start progressing, things are start going to start moving. King of Swords. So we have counterparts here, which of course you know would obviously help a lot. Um, so again, it's that opening. It's about truth, honesty, clarity. You know, you wanted that truth. So you were sitting in your power the entire time wanting that truth, you know, wanting all of that. And now they're at that level where they're able to give you what it is that you want. They're, they're much more open and loyal and trustworthy. I want to get the rest of the cards out. So the other two. Got the Knight of Wands. So, counterparts, soulmates, they finally give you what it is that you wanted, you know, that clarity, that truth, and they are much more honest and open now than they were before. And with this Knight of Pentacles, as I mentioned with the Page of Pentacles, it's about an opening that happens, it's about them wanting commitment, it's about them coming forward with that, and for many of you this could have taken a lot of time to manifest, it would have been quite slow. So now it's starting to happen, it's starting to progress, it's starting to move forward and, you know, in June especially, do see that commitment coming your way. This Knight of Wands here is about them sort of progressing slowly, having that opening quite slowly, being like the Knight of Wands first and then the King of Wands. So that's how that opening happens, but there is, you know, a spark here, there's chemistry, of course, you know, soulmates. So that's very, very positive as well. And we also have the Ten of Cups, which is that this situation will eventually give you a lot of emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment in many, many areas of your life. It will sort of feed through because these are counterparts and soulmates. And essentially, this was all happening in divine timing. And they had to, you know, learn things in that sense, especially with this Knight of Pentacles, you know, coming forward in terms of you know, stability and commitment, which is something that they will want, and it's something that they will offer you, as well as just, you know, that emotional happiness factor in many areas of your life. So, you know, again, it's been something that has been, I feel, in the works for many of you, and it's been something that has taken a lot of time and patience, and there's been a lot of daydreaming, perhaps even waiting, um, wondering, but it's all sort of happened over time. That's how I feel it has manifested. So Taurus, this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also comment down below how this resonates with you. Don't forget to um, check out the description box below for information on a free reading, um, private paid readings, and also my bracelets, which are on Etsy, and I will see you all very soon.